from that look on your face, I'm guessing you've never seen a silt strider before. This is Dusty. I personally trained her from a lava. Feels like a lifetime ago now. I'm guessing you've never seen a silt strider before. This? She hasn't been in travelling condition for quite a while now. I've tried to let it go off on her own, but she insists on staying here. We get bar trade nods and ends with the locals. I've decided to stay here and make sure she passes in peace. It's the least I can do for her. Every once in a while a local makes it out here. Although they usually just want to catch a glimpse of Dusty. Silt striders are pretty rare now. What would you like to know? The blast from the volcano wiped most of them found Dusty in a small cave on Vardenfell. Silt strider cocoons are pretty tough. Mostly for transporting goods and people. A silt strider carapace is so strong it can withstand the harshest of weather. Even the legendary sandstorms of Vardenfell's Molagama region were said to barely make a dent in them. Of course, that's all ash. All right. Take a look. Until next time. to die.
Well, what happened? Were you able to track down Vendel? Out with it! Then... It's finally over. Oh, Lord. You need to talk some What of the Redder and Gar? I sent to assist you. We can't get blood from a stone, Norbrook. Damn it. As it is, we can I was hoping to protect our people by sending them, not end up with that casualties. I was clear when I loaned To think that Vendel would stoop so low as to hire those fetchers. I'm glad you so killed him. You wonderful. Simply wonderful. Councillor Morvane will be quite pleased when he hears about this. Follow me, and I'll take you to the Councillor so you can speak to him yourself. Plenty of work in the mine, if you're looking. With the Aspawn threat taken care of, I can give my men the rest they deserve. Well done, friend. Long time. Glover Mallory is a wonder with and hammer and anvil. Dealt with a threat that could, could have ended your life. Vendel, Telesu, and Miri <laughs> Severin weren't who they appeared to be. I'm afraid they were here to avenge Villa Ulan's death. Vendel? But he's done so much for Raven Rock. How could this be possible? They did it to gain our confidence, Counselor. They had us all fooled. I should have been more vigilant. I'm sorry. Don't say that. It's not your fault, old friend. And you... Step forward. What you've done for me, for all of Raven Rock, goes How far beyond what I would have expected from a traveler to our town. For this, you have my deepest gratitude. Which I've done without question for over a hundred years. Now, I'm certain Adril was prepared to reward you appropriately for everything you've done. However, since a bit of coin hardly seems like enough, I'm sorry, my I've decided to provide something it's never felt more substantial. It's as though a part of me since the Severin family, or whoever they were, turned out to be criminals, their property is now forfeit. All we can do as counselor, I hereby award you. Severin Manor, and everything contained within. You've earned your citizenship here, and I hope you'll consider staying with us as a member of our community. You've brought Raven Rock back from the brink, Traveler. I don't know how to thank you. The mines are open and the ebony has begun to flow because of your dis- Solstheim is theoretically under my rule. But without revenue from the mine, I lack the resources to actually govern anything but Raven Rock itself. Not that there's much beyond the confines of our town anyway. Well, there's a small enclave of Nords to the north in Skarl Village. Then there's Tel Mithrin to the east. The Telvani live out there. Other than that, Solstheim is crawling with bandits and reeklings. But that's to be expected living in a frontier like this. with you, Counselor? Of course, Sindiri. What troubles you? I was concerned about our food stores. Jalen can only carry so much on each journey, and I'm afraid we might run out. I'll speak with Garen and see if we can't increase the crop production this season. <sighs> Sorry, Sindiri. I fear we'll be feasting on ash yams a bit more often this year. 
I can't thank you enough for reopening the ebony mines. You it to the darkness, my friend. Your F as the wife to the second Admiral Ar How I hate that title. Damn fool's going to get himself killed over it. He's in grave. When I fall asleep at night, all I can do is hope he'll still be there when I awaken. Any news from him? Oh! <gasps> 